This is our third sentence structure lesson, and we're going to be lear learning sentence structure number five and six, because we always learn two sentence structures in each lesson. Be sure to take notes on this, because you're going to really want these notes when you write an essay, and you want to spice up your boring sentences using one of these new sentence structures. So go ahead and write sentence structure notes number five and six at the top of your notes. Be sure to write down the structure and any helpful hints and lots of examples as you go. So step one, look at this person and write a simple, boring sentence about him. You know, give him a name and have him do something. So the name is the who or the what, and the action is the thing that he does. And if you don't know his name, uh, just make one up. But you actually might know this guy. He's pretty famous. Once you have a simple sentence about him, now we can add to it to make it more interesting. And we're going to add a condition group. A condition group is a group of words that comes at the beginning that tells uh, what needs to happen before the rest of the sentence takes place. And it makes your sentence a lot more interesting and it adds a lot more detail to it. A condition group is going to start with one of the following words. Although, if, even though, unless, or in spite of. So th those are great things to write down in your notes because if you start your group of words with one of those words it will probably come out just right and since the condition group comes at the beginning of the sentence that means one of those words will be at the beginning and that's a really great way to start your sentence. So much more interesting than just the subject. So the condition group starts with one of those words and it will go at the beginning of the sentence and it will be followed with a comma because by having a group of words in the front it's going to be an introductory phrase or an introductory clause. So an, ex an example could be in spite of his broken leg comma Joe played six games in the outfield. Look how much more interesting that sentence is with that with that little phrase at the beginning. So here's some more examples because this is Joe DiMaggio who's one of the most famous New York Yankees and uh, so here's some example sentences. Notice the condition group at the beginning and then his name and then an action. So my examples are although he was retired comma Joe DiMaggio remained New York's most popular baseball player. And that one start with, started with although. And here's a second one that starts with if. If he just had a few more hits comma Joe would have tied the record. And he was a really good hitter. Um, but uh, but not quite as good as Ted Williams, who played for the for the Red Sox. And uh, an interesting little tidbit is that uh, Joe DiMaggio was married to Marilyn Monroe, and so he was famous on the ball field and off. Okay, now let's try it again with the new person. Look at this. Look at the picture of this person, and write a simple sentence about him. If you don't know his name, make one up. And so the who or the what comes at the beginning, followed by an action. And it will just be a simple sentence. Once you have that, we're going to make it more interesting by adding another condition group to the beginning of that, of that simple sentence. Remember, the condition group come, begins with one of the following words. Although, if, even though, unless, or in spite of. And the condition group comes at the beginning and is followed with a comma. Okay, so if you don't know who this is, it's Jimmy Carter. He was president in the late 70s, uh, right after Gerald Ford, but right before Ronald Reagan. And he was uh, governor of Georgia before he was the uh, before he was the president. And he was known as when he would lived in Georgia, he had a peanut farm, and that was really famous. And he was actually really he was a really great guy. Um, so here are my example sentences. Even though Jimmy Carter was a good president, comma, the economy worsened. So uh, he was really he was a nice guy, but the economy was really lousy when he was president. And my other sentence, in spite of his age, comma, Jimmy Carter still works with Habitat for Humanity. And uh, Habitat for Humanity is a group that builds houses for people who need houses. It's a really great organization, and uh, and he founded it. So there are some example sentences with condition groups. All right, 
and let's start another another type of sentence structure. We'll start with a simple sentence about this person. So look at this person, and uh, if you don't know his name, make one up, but so write a simple sentence about him. Who or what, followed by an action. And to spice up that boring sentence, we're going to add a how group. And the how group, again, comes at the beginning, and it tells how the rest of the sentence takes place. So you know how you have an, an action in your sentence? Well, this group of words tells how that action is done. You create a how group by beginning with an ly word, that's usually an adverb, or a group of words that starts with with, or without, or by, or you can even make an analogy where the group of words start, starts with the word like or as. So you begin your how group with an ly word, like carefully or occasionally, or with the words with, with it, without, or by, or like, or as. And all of those are great ways to begin your sentences. And like everything else, when the how group comes at the beginning of the sentence, you'll follow it with a comma. And so here are some example sentences. The hunter that you can write the hunter move silently, but look how much better it is when you move silently to the beginning. Silently, comma the hunter moved. It's just a lot more interesting, especially if you've had a couple uh, more traditional boring sentences ahead of time. Uh, you can say the boy left by bus, but look at how n how much nicer it is when the how group comes first. With all his effort, comma he pushed on the door. Like a traffic cop, comma, the little girl shouted directions. It's just it's a it's a nice way to vary vary the openings of your sentences when you put one of these groups in the beginning. And so here's some more example sentences of George Washington Carver. So that famous person whose whose face was on the screen is George Washington Carver, and he was a scientist who who made a lot of uh, a lot of useful products out of peanuts, like oil and lubricants and uh, a lot of industrial uses, but he's most famous for making peanut butter. And so my how group sentences, carefully comma, George Washington Carver made motor oil from peanuts. And so carefully is my how group. I just used one of those ly words, an, an adverb. My other example, as simple coal becomes diamonds comma, peanuts transformed into all kinds of useful items in Carver's lab. So in this one I made a little analogy starting with the word as where I said as something that we know about and then I compare it to the way he transformed peanuts into other useful items. So it's a little more complicated and it's a, it's a, it's a more complicated sentence but it's really interesting. All right, let's do another example. Look at the person on the screen and write a simple sentence about her. If you don't know her name, make one up and then follow it with an action. So have her do something. Now that you have your simple sentence, we're going to add another how group to the beginning. Remember that the how group starts with an ly word or with, without, or by, or with a little uh, metaphor with the words like or as. And to, and here are my examples. And there's a, my examples are out, are about Aretha Franklin. So she's a she's a Motown singer. In fact, I'd say she's probably the best Motown Motown singer. And Motown was the R&B music that really got its start in Detroit. And Detroit is called Motown because it's the Motor City. It's where all the it's all, where all the car companies are based. And so Mo, Motown music is called Motown because it comes from Detroit. So here are my example sentences. By practicing every day, comma, Aretha Franklin developed a rich singing voice. By practicing every day is my how group because it tells how she developed her voice. And it starts with the word by. My other example, without her saxophone player, comma, Aretha could not sing respect at her concert. So without her saxophone player is the how group that tells uh, how the rest of the sentence takes place. All right, in your last step in your notes, put it all together. Uh, tell a story, write a sentence that's a simple sentence, 
then write one that has a condition group at the beginning, and then finish it with one with a how group. And you'll s now you can see that you have a variety of sentence lengths and a variety of sentence structures and a variety of sentence openings. And using using a variety of sentences is what can make your writing sound just really intelligent and mature. Uh, immature writers tend to write all short simple sentences but you're going to be writing in long and short and complex and simple sentences all mixed together and it makes for really interesting writing.